Hello, this is the second video in my game character rigging series. If you haven't watched the first intro one yet, I'll suggest taking a look so you have a better idea on what we're trying to build. In this video I'm going to start the rigging process by building the character's skeleton. So here we have a very low res character from the Goblin Abyss, which is an action RPG game I'm presently developing for iPhone and iPad. So let's get started with the rig. The first thing I'm going to do is turn on wireframe on shaded. This is so I can see the edge loops as I'm working, get a better idea of where to place the joints. The next thing I'm going to do is turn on x-ray joints. So again, so I can see where the joints are as I'm working with them. So now we're ready to start adding some joints. I'm going to go to the side view and make sure you're in the, the animation menus and go to skeleton, the joint tool, and let's open up the options. So the first few are the important ones. We want all degrees of freedom ticked, X, Y, and Z. Orientation, I want X, Y, and Z. For this one, the board orientation, plus Y is fine. I don't want scale compensate. I do not want to limit anything on the joints and I do not want IK handles. So just leave these three all, all turned off. For the bone radius settings, this doesn't really affect the rig, it's just how you visualize it. Personally, I don't like different length joints being different sizes, so I set the radius to both for one. Of course, you might like different size joints, that's entirely up to you. So now we can move in and start placing the joints. So the first one I go into place is at the, is at the base of the spine, it would also be used as our main root control. So this one needs to be pretty much in the center of the hips. I'm going to place another one fairly close. So I find the second joint, it helps with the spine IK spine we'll be building later, if there's an extra joint here. And then I'm going to work my way up the spine using the edge loops as placement. So I'm going to put one there. That looks good. Next we need one for the neck. That looks good. And a head joint. And finally I'm going to place one at the top of the head. So about there. And when they're done, hit the enter key. Well, we now have our first joint chain. So the next thing to do is name them all. Very important to name all your joints, so you can find them later. So the first one I'm going to call J underscore for joint. Call it main root. And then the next one is J spine. Oops. J spine one. J spine two. J spine three. We have our neck joint and our head joint. Oops. And lastly, I call this head end. So at this point, it's still very easy to move the joints. If you're not quite happy with the placement you made, I think I'm going to tweak some of these. And move this one up a little. Now as you can see, this is a hierarchy, so selecting and moving will move its children. If you want to move just the joint, you can hit the insert key. And now its child will not move. I'm going to move this one up a little higher, just sort of have a split in the edge loops here. I think about there. I also think this neck, the neck is a little too high. Bring it down a little. And the same for the head. I'm going to put that about there. I think that looks good. It's important to freeze all these joints and make sure the axis is pointing down the joint. Because we move some of them, you can see there is there's values in the translate Y, which means it's not pointing directly down to its child. If we uh, select W, make sure we're in object mode, which we are, you can see this is the direction the joint is pointing in. We want it to point at its child. 
it's easy enough to fix. If you select the base, you can go to Skeleton, Orientate Joint. If we open up the options, I want it to orientate on X, Y, and Z. Second world access Y is fine. Um, I want it to orientate the children, and I also want it to orientate the local scale axis. So let's hit apply. Now if we select the neck, you can see there's translate Y is at zero. And you can see the axis is pointing directly down the joint. And that's exactly what we want. Next we're going to start on the leg joints. So again we're going to go to the skeleton menu, joint tool. I already know my options are good. And I'm going to start replacing the hip joint. Yeah, about there. I'm going to place the knee joint on this edge loop, a tiny bit forward. And then we need the ankle joint and the ball joint. About there, and finally, finally one for the toes. And hit enter. Again, very important to name your joints. So I'm going to name this one J hip, and it's the left hip, so L E. This is J knee, again left. This is the ankle joint, so J ankle left. Oops. And the ball joint. And finally the toe joint. J toe left. So next we're going to go to the front view so we can position the leg. Just going to go to the move tool, I'm going to go to world and move it over. Now the IK will work better if these joints are in a perfectly straight line. So instead of moving the knee over, I'm just going to rotate the hips instead. And then I'm going to rotate the ankle back just to keep it water lined. I think that looks okay. Now of course, just like the spine, if you want to tweak any of the positions of these joints, you can. You can do it exactly the same way we did with the spine. Just don't forget to, to use the orientate joint command to zero all the axes out. However, we have used the rotation tool, so now some of our joints have non-zero rotation values. And if we try and use the orientate joint, we get this warning, it has non-zero rotations. So to fix this, we need to go to the modify freeze transformations. I'll open up the options. We want to freeze the uh, freeze the rotation. Make sure the joint orientation is turned off. And we'll hit apply. Now you can see there's zero, zero in the rotation and this one's also zeroed. So now it's fine to select this and use the orientate joint and everything should be working. If we go to object you can see X is now pointing down the joints, everything's zeroed, and that's looking pretty good. So the last thing I want to do with the legs is parent them to the main root control. So if I select the hip, select the, the main root, and hit P to parent. And now to save building the other side, we can go to skeleton, and we can mirror the joints. If I open up the options, you can see I want to mirror it in the YZ plane. I want to mirror its behavior. I'm also going to add search for LE and replace with RI. And this will rename my hips LE to RI for right. And there we go. So now we have the right leg already created. So next I want to start on the arms. I'm going to go to the top view. You close this window. And again go to skeleton, joint tool. And I'm going to start by placing the shoulder joint somewhere, I think that edge loop. And I'm going to place the elbow and the wrist and finally an end for the hand. And hit enter. Now if we go to the front view, we can move that up into positions, very similar to how we did with the legs. 
and again rotate it down into position that looks pretty good and again if you feel like you need to change any of the positions you can I'm going to freeze the same as the legs it's all good apply and just to make sure I'm going to orientate the joints and that's all looking pretty good last thing of course don't forget to rename them so this is J shoulder J shoulder left J elbow left and we have a wrist so J wrist left oops can't type J wrist left I'm just going to call this one J J hands left now for the clavicle joints I'd like that to be in ward aligned so I'm just going to go to the side view use the joint tool and just create a joint I'm going to call it J clav left and move it into position think about there, bring it out a bit, perhaps a little, I think that looks good. So finally I'm going to take the shoulder joint, parent it to the clavicle, and parent the clavicle to the spine. Just like the legs we are going to mirror the joints. I know my settings are all good. Hit mirror. Clavicle right, that worked. And that, that's looking pretty good for the skeleton. Actually, this one still needs one or two new joints. We go to the side view. We're going to add a couple of extra joints to control the loincloth. So again, I'm going to go to the joint tool. And place one there and there hit enter. I'm going to hit the G key to repeat the tool. Place a joint right there and there. Was not forgetting to rename them. So J loincloth BA for back. J loincloth back uh, end. J, J loincloth, perhaps FR for front. J, J loincloth, front, end. And of course, last thing, select both of them and parent them to the main root. And I think that's looking pretty good for our skeleton. So that's about it for this video. In the next video, I will start the skinning and show you how to set up deformation and set the skin weights.